<laughs> Hello, I just wanted to do a quick review on um, the latest foundation I've picked up. Uh, I picked this up. It's the Mineralize SPF 15 foundation from MAC. It's actually their cream foundation and um, I've been a very loyal user of the MAC Studio Fix um, powder foundation and I've been using it for so many years. I can, can't even think of when I, um, when I haven't owned a compact um, from, from MAC. So I decided to uh, take a leap and change and, and test out some other fa powder foundations or cream foundations from MAC. And this was actually their latest release. I got this right when it came out. So I've been testing it for almost a month now. And um, I would say actually, no, almost over a month. Anyway, um, this one is in NC30. It's their Mineralize uh, SPF 15 foundation. So I'll open this up for you. Oops. <laughs> It's actually like this, so you can see it, sorry. <laughs> so this is um, the, the type of foundation. It's a creamy texture, so um, to avoid kind of contaminating it, I brought out um, the brush I usually use with it. I'm using the MAC 168 brush. You can also use the one, I believe it's 138, um, it's their stipple brush. Um, I don't have that yet, I'm actually looking to pick one up. And um, this is, uh, this is the brush I'm using right now and I like that it's this one because it's really dense bristles so I like that um, because it's really dense the coverage is a little bit fuller and sometimes I like to use this and then dust on a loose powder over top uh, to set the foundation so I've been giving it a shot and I've been trying it for for the month and and I've been noticing that it's been breaking me out so I've been getting a lot of um, painful <laughs> pimples and it's been clogging my pores and I find that it's really the coverage is um, you can feel it on your skin which I'm not a big fan of but I do like the texture for concealing spots I don't know if it's actually causing extra breakups to even where I'm using it as a concealer so I've been testing that theory out <laughs> for a little while as well and I do not uh, I'm not a huge fan of uh, this latest uh, Max foundation, other than the fact that the color is dead on for my skin tone. Um, I usually I've applied I've tried it out with a various different um, applications. So this is the way I like it the best. I like using their um, their brush and then dabbing it on. So I would just what I would do is I would apply the foundation, just dip my brush in the foundation, and I'm not going to do it right now, but I already have foundation on. But then I would dab it. And I would, instead of brushing, I found that the application of just patting it like this lightly against the skin and then repeating over the same areas um, gave me a really gorgeous, flawless finish. And I liked the, this powder for the look I would get afterwards. In the beginning, when I started using it, my skin looked kind of like glowing and like there wasn't any, um, there weren't, you couldn't really notice any breakouts or anything like that or um the, the application was really, really smooth and it felt like a, a liquid foundation on your skin and then I would set it and still there, it looked a little bit more luminous. Um, however, after using it for about three weeks, my skin started reacting to it. And since I've stopped using it, um, in the past week or so, my skin has been calming down a bit. And I and it's, it really makes me sad to say that I don't like this product just because of the breakouts. Um, but for people who aren't acne prone or maybe people who don't have um, large pores like myself um, would find better results with this foundation because the coverage is good, the color selection is really good. Um, and uh, you can play with various different techniques to apply it because with using the brush you get one look but if you also use the sponge that they provide you you can get a different look and I found when I used a triangle sponge you can get a fuller coverage or you can put um, or you can wet the sponge a tiny bit and I found that you get this really glossy dewy look and I really love um, I really love that that kind of uh, natural glowing skin effect that you can get from this powder foundation. But like I said, it's a shame. I don't think I'll be repurchasing it just because it doesn't work for my skin type. And um, I, I like that you don't have to retouch, up, you don't have to touch this up, um, up during the day either because it does, it has really good staying power. Um, and especially with you, when you set it with loose powder, um, it's been working really well. I mean, it, I mean, it, it wouldn't, it won't budge, is what I mean. <laughs> Didn't work well for me, but it, it won't budge. Um, and this is, this is the previous powder I've been using, which is the Mac Studio Fix C3, and this is uh, the 
the powder foundation and I also use a, a brush, a large bristle, bristle brush. <laughs> Man, I'm having my tongue tied. And uh, this one, I, I still kind of turn back to this one every time my um, every time I'm in a rush to get to work. And I find that this is always the quickest application for me. I just take a big brush. I kind of brush over the problem areas, and then my skin is always looking flawless. Uh, well, not flawless, but <laughs> better and uh, more even, I would say. And uh, this one I still find is superior to the mineralized one just because for the breakouts. I haven't experienced any breakouts from using this, but uh, this one just was not uh, compatible with my skin. So I, I recommend this, um, but I would just go in knowing that... Um, some you it's possible to have a reaction to it i'm not sure if it's because that it's a cream formula or if it's because of the ingredients i thought that the mineral powders i've never had any problems with mineral powders i guess is maybe the creamy texture that um reacted with my skin it's a shame and um i guess that's my review for the mac uh, mineralize studio finish uh, spf 15 foundation